What is going on guys? It's Evan and welcome back to another video. Today we are at Supercharge. This is Memorial Day, so Supercharge was super, super packed. So there was a ton of traffic and a ton of overtaking going on. So it's definitely some fun races. Not the fastest lap times because of all the traffic, but it was, yeah, it was, it was fun for sure. Also, if you notice, we have new widgets. It is 10 14 p.m. when I'm recording this right now. I have been up since 6 a.m. working on this. So please just, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate it. No, no, please, because like it, it took me forever. <laughs> and I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, man. Just please, just please. All right, so coming around, we have the second outlap. It took two outlaps to get out because there's just so many people on track. We had this full capacity, 20 people, and immediately we just come out to a bunch of traffic. So. We get past that guy right here, and we're gonna get past this person right here as well, just in yellow flag conditions. Just trying to make up some spots and trying to heat up my tires. Don't really know if this does anything at this speed, but it might be placebo, but I do it anyway. So right in front of us, we have three carts. We're coming up the corkscrew right now. And as soon as we get to the top, it's gonna go green, and we're gonna be on our way. Right here, just bogging down a little bit, trying to get the corkscrew with no power, but send it up the inside of these two guys right now. And that's an easy move. Just gonna try to get out of traffic, but this guy right here is gonna be a little out of control. He's gonna go way too deep into size. It's not right back into us. I definitely felt that the next day, but now we're going wheel to wheel. I was thinking I could have it around the outside here, but he's gonna make it a little more difficult than I thought. I'm gonna go for the switch back here, and he's just gonna completely lose it, and then bang! That that hurt again but at least we have some traffic cleared we can get into our way on to our first hot lap coming down the main straight here we have our push to pass for a little bit extra pace but i'm not going to use it yet it's just we didn't have enough fast enough lap and now there's traffic in front of us too which might be an issue so coming around into the final corner i'm gonna have to lift immediately just to avoid some contact and i'm gonna get stuck behind these two guys just trying to clear so clear one and i'm gonna try to sit down the inside of these two it literally like i'm just going no hezzy server in this out of course so just trying to get past some traffic so our first sector here is gonna be pretty screwed up already and we have some more traffic coming in front of us here i'm gonna swing wide to set up the switch back but i don't really know what happens here he didn't hit the brakes or anything he just kind of just lost a ton of pace i think he lifted but yeah good smack on his rear right there and we're on our way clearing two more cars Flying through here, the cart's feeling pretty good up the temperature at this point, so really let's just get a clean lap and see see what we can do. Coming down the corkscrew though, we have a nice little surprise. Someone's facing backwards and no yellow flag or anything, but just sent down the inside of them and hopefully now we can get a clean lap. There should be no issues. So flying down the inside again, nobody's in front of us, but of course we're gonna get yellow flagged and we're gonna slow down, which is gonna kill our first sector because we have no momentum, which is even more frustrating because it pretty much immediately goes green again and we're on our way, but is what it is clean track ahead of us this corner is really difficult because the cart really 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 wants to bog down and it, it does 99.9 percent .9 of the time but it's weird if you take a wider line here that helps you avoid lifting a wheel or anything which stops the cart from bogging down which is obviously gonna be super helpful for lap time but flying through here nothing super crazy in sectors one two three but interestingly enough after we come out with the corkscrew we're going to set our fastest sector four of the day. Speaking of the corkscrew, it has been one of my favorite corners I've ever raced on. You just fly through there, man. The tires just squealing for grip and you're just throwing your body. It, it's it's an amazing corner. But right here, we have the little traffic. Just send it and just get it done. And we used our push to pass to get a little extra boost coming across the line. That gives us the fastest sector four of the day at a 12.76. Push to pass is definitely, definitely super helpful there. Now we have another clean track and back on a hot lap we go up through the corkscrew and the cart holds on pretty well. Up the hill through sector one, we're gonna hit a sector one of a 13.84, not too bad. Flying through here, we have a cart in front of us. We're gonna come up on, send it down the inside. They move over beautifully. Coming through sector two, we set our fastest sector two of the day at a 10.12. Cart is just gripping beautifully through here. You can see how tight it was, but we're gonna have some traffic. Coming through the final corkscrew, not too good. They're gonna lose a lot of time there. Go around the outside there, just avoid some contact, but sector three is gonna be super, super slow. Almost a full second slower than the lap before. So yeah, that kind of ruined the lap time. A little bit more traffic coming towards the end, going to go right around them, not too big of an issue. But cross the line, and that's going to be a 50.12. Best time of the day, but we can do better. Once again, sending it through the corkscrew, and the cart grips up absolutely beautifully here, hugging the inside. That's going to let us set the best sector one of the day at a 13.76. Flying through sector two, we actually do pretty good as well here only about 400 slower than the time before so a 10.16 not too bad at all through the right hand as we go cart again hooks up beautifully through here no issues not a slide at all 
no traffic this time coming down into the corkscrew we do have some coming out three cars in front of us let's see what's gonna go on here look like they're gonna trip each other up so i'm gonna go and wait for them to make a mistake and sure enough there one goes i'm not exactly sure what happened there but it looked pretty sick Bump drafting this guy to try to get him out of the way or give him some more speed. Looks like he uses his push to pass there because he gains a lot. But coming around the final corner, we set the fastest lap of the day at a 49.24. That was a good lap. Yeah, again, on that lap, we hit the fastest sector one and the fastest sector three of the day. So that helped out a lot. And again, we were only 400 soft in sector two. So yeah, crazy good time. Can't really ask for that much more. Sector four, though, we got held up a lot with that traffic with a 13.12 compared to a 12s that we were just running. So. It is what it is. It brings the optimal down a lot, though, to about 48.8. This is about three tenths slower than my fastest time ever here, I think. But that makes sense. Again, there's just so much traffic here. Like, literally, as you can see right here, sending it down the inside. It's just, I mean, traffic's fun. That's one of my favorite parts about window karting is just, hey, you're going to have inexperienced drivers. That's part of the thing. But racing against them is 99% of the fun because you really don't know what they're going to do. I mean... I don't even think they know what they're going to do, but that's okay. <laughs> Coming around the final corner of lap five into lap six, we're going to set a nice 51.24. Actually, not that nice. There's a lot of traffic on that, but a lot of traffic here too. Sending up the inside here and getting moved them right before the corkscrew. Just got the hang back a little bit here. Got two carts, but one's going to go really wide. And we're going to try to send around him here. And we're gonna make a stick on two. Not the cleanest moves, and a little bit of bully ball, but and you know, I've seen worse. The inside of cart number three here, and we're gonna try to send it between cart number four and five. But yeah, that that was <laughs> ambitious to say the least. You know, sometimes like you just think you're gonna fit, and there's no shot of you doing it. But you're never gonna find out unless you try. But we get yellow flag there for a bit, and we're back on our way, and we clear the rest of the traffic. Going on to lap seven here soon. Unfortunately, the yellow flags come on right here, which means last lap. And so I really don't know if I'm gonna get the finish this lap, but we're gonna give it our all. We have our push to pass here, so we're gonna try to use it later. Coming into the first corner, going really, really wide here, but trying to get around this guy, and we do. Not gonna lose too much time here. We're gonna come up here, card in front, but he should be out of the way just enough. Up the corkscrew, here we go, and we're going to set a 13.84 through sector one. 800 slower than our fastest, though on pretty good pace here. Coming up here, we're getting a little bit closer, but again, not too much of a worry yet. Coming through sector two, we're going to set a 10.2, only 400 slower, so we are on a flyer right now. If we nail sector three and four, we might set fastest lap of the day. We catch up through him through the corkscrew, but luckily he's going to bend it right here, and we're going to go right past him. That's going to be a 12.28 for sector three, which is only 800 slower than our fastest. Onto the back straight, we use the push and pass to get past that last cart, and is flat out to the finish line. One more cart in front, but oh, we get hit the yellow flag, we get slowed down. If I had to guess, that would have been fastest lap of the day. I feel like we would have been into the 48s, maybe, but it was a good try. As always, if you see anywhere that you think I can gain time or you think I can do some things better to gain some more time, let me know down below. It's, it's always appreciated. But yeah, that was the race. Let me know what you think below. Again, I always appreciate you guys coming by, stop by my videos. So again, like, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.